Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps scene. In this video, we are going to learn AWS Lambda function. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create Lambda function and how to setting S3 bucket trigger on Lambda. So let's start. So as you can see here, firstly, we need to follow this step. So firstly, we need to create S3 bucket, then we need to create IAM role, then we need to create Lambda function, and at last, add trigger on Lambda. So let's start. So you can see here, we are in Lambda dashboard. So let's click, click on create function. So we are going to create Lambda function. So here you can see here, now create function, choose one of the following options to create your function. So you can see a firstly author from scratch, start with a simple hello world example. Then second option is use a blueprint, build a Lambda application from sample code and configuration presents for common use cases. Then third option container image, select a container image to deploy for your function. Then fourth option is browse serverless app repository. Deploy a sample Lambda application from the AWS serverless application repository. So here I will choose this author from scratch. Then if I scroll down here, you can see basic information. So first we need to enter our function name. So, now, so my function name will be Lambda test. Then runtime, choose a language to use to your function. So, sorry, choose a language to use to write your function. So here I will choose Python 3.9. Then if I scroll down, here you can see change default execution role, ex uh, create a new role with basic Lambda permission, then use the existing role, then create a new role from AWS policy templates. Say, as I told you, firstly, now we are going to create IAM role. Right. So here I will choose this user existing role. So firstly, we need to create IAM role. So go to the IAM dashboard. So here you can see we are in IAM dashboard and now we are going to create new role. So click on roles. Then click on create role. Now here you can see selected trusted entity. Trusted entity type AWS service. Then if I scroll down, use case. So common use cases are two you can see here. So firstly, EC2 and second is Lambda. And now we are going to uh, create role for Lambda. So that's why here I will choose Lambda. Then click on next. Then we need to add permission. So here I will add one permission for Lambda. So you can see the permission AWS Lambda basic exe execution role. So check it and click on next. Then enter your role name. So my role name will be Lambda testing. Then in description, allow Lambda functions to call AWS services on your behalf. Then review once and then click on create role. So you can see our role Lambda testing created. So now go to the Lambda function and now here I will use, uh, I will choose this use existing role and click on refresh. And if I click on this scroll down, you can see our role that we have just created Lambda testing. So select our Lambda testing role and then click on create function. So you can see how we have successfully created Lambda function with the name Lambda test. You can see the message successfully created the function Lambda test and you can now change its code and configuration to invoke your function with the test event and choose test. Okay, so now you can see here, here our Lambda function, then trigger and destination, here description, last modified and so on. So if I scroll down, here you can see our source code. You can see our source code. 
and if i scroll down you can see the code properties runtime settings layers and so on so now here here if i in type print event and then here if i want to print hello now click on deploy to update our lambda function so you can see updating the function and successfully updated the function lambda test now let's test so click on test so you can see a configuration test event firstly we need to enter our, our event name so my event name will be demo and then you can see your sample or oh, sorry template option hello world and here you can see values key one value one key two value two key two key three value three it will be print so let's test so click on save and now you can see the test event demo, demo was successfully saved let's test so click on test and you can see here the message in function logs you can see a start requested id and version latest and you can see a key one value one key two value two key three value three and hello that we have print here print hello you can see here the message hello so we have successfully created lambda function now we are going to uh, setting s3 bucket trigger on lambda so let's start so first we need to create s3 bucket so go to the s3 dashboard so you can see this is our s3 dashboard so firstly we need to create s3 bucket so click on create bucket and now firstly we need to enter our bucket name and as you know bucket name must be unique so enter our bucket name so my bucket name will be lambda testing 2022 then choose aws region so here i will choose this ap south one then acl enable remove block all public access then i acknowledge and then click on create bucket So you can see a successfully created bucket with the name lambda testing 2022 okay now go to the lambda function and now here we need to add trigger so click on add trigger and here select a trigger select your trigger so my trigger will be s3 so select s3 so you can see s3 storage then select your bucket so in my bucket will be you can see a lambda testing as uh, that we have just created our bucket with the name lambda testing 2022 so select your bucket then scroll down event type so here if i select this scroll down you can see uh, all object create events or uh, if i copy or post or put so if you want then you can select anyone but here i will select this all object create event then prefix so it's optional it's for images and it's for jpg images so it's optional it's not mandatory so skip it and then click on i acknowledged and then add So you can see here we have successfully add triggered s3 and now go to your s3 bucket and here we are going to upload file so let's upload click on add files then here i will add this image one 
so you can see the destination lambda testing s3 and destination details and so on so click on upload so successfully up upload right upload succeed so let's go to the lambda function and if i scroll down here you can see the monitor so click on monitor and click on view logs in cloudwatch So you can see here our Lambda function name, Lambda test. So the details of our Lambda function. And if I scroll down, here you can see our image. And the date, you can see here, 2022, 526, latest and time. So if I click on this log stream, you can see the details of our image. That we have print hello, then key one, value one, and after that, you can see our image name, images one.jpg and size and so on. You can see the details of our image. So you can see here in our bucket, we have uploaded the image one. You can see image one.jpg and in CloudWatch, you can see the name of our image, image one.jpg and size and so on. So the details of our image and you can see our bucket lambda testing our bucket name lambda testing 2022 owner identity and so on the details of our um, image and bucket in cloud watch you can see here so we have successfully trigger we have successfully setting s3 bucket trigger on lambda so in this video we have learned lambda function any lambda function in this video we have s3 bucket trigger on lambda so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops in channel